the local wildlife looked quite different 13,000 years ago. No longhorns. But you did have plenty of mastodons to make steaks from, if you lived to tell the tale. These prehistoric behemoths could grow to a mighty 11 feet and weigh up to eight tons. That's a lot of protein. Though not as tall, mastodons were wider and longer than their cousins, the elephant and the mammoth. While mastodon legs were shorter, those stumps were still plenty powerful and their cusp teeth made quick work of tree branches for food while serving as a brutal weapon when needed. Another prehistoric resident of Texas was the saber-tooth cat. These frightening felines came in all shapes and sizes, but they all had one thing in common, massive front teeth, which made them incredible killing machines. You didn't want to run into one of these on a deer hunt. You didn't want to meet a dire wolf either. Sharing many attributes with its modern cousins, the dire wolf was about the same size, but had larger teeth. These strong hunters had no fear and often attacked larger prey like horses, bison, and even camels. Yes, Texas had prehistoric camels once too. One of the stranger animals that roamed the wilds of ancient Texas was the glyptodon. Think of it as a prehistoric armadillo on steroids with its massive tortoise-like shell. Each species had its own unique pattern. This critter even had head armor and a mace-like spiked tail. You had to be either very desperate or very stupid to mess with a glyptodon. Last but not least, definitely not the least, was the megatherium or giant ground sloth. These massive sloths stood over six feet at the shoulder and stretched about 20 feet from head to tail. They used their gigantic tails like tripods to reach their claws high as possible to get their next meal from the ancient trees of Texas. Seems like good food has been part of being Texan for millennia. Want more Texas history? Look us up. The Texas Center at Shriner University.